I'm Oliver Slow from Frontier Myanmar and I'm here at the World Economic Forum on ASEAN in Phnom Penh. The theme this year is Youth, Technology and Change and the event will look closely at the so-called Fourth Industrial Revolution which is the convergence of biological, digital and physical technologies. Some of the key topics being discussed this year include China's One Belt, One Road policy which has the potential to have a huge impact on the region but also comes with a whole host of challenges. Other topics include how countries in Southeast Asia can take advantage of the huge technological advances expected in the region in recent years and to ensure how the expected growth across Southeast Asia can have an impact on the region's 600 million population. Well, you know, this is a great platform for dialogue, uh, exchange platform, so, you know, sharing ideas, um, especially among ASEAN countries. So what are, what are some of the key topics you'd want to discuss? Uh, it's more of a uh, you know, uh, government policies and dialogue with the private partners, uh, especially in uh, energy and electricity and, and, and related infrastructure development. Yeah. Well, I think the region today um, looks very bright. Um, if, you, if you look around the world, um, ASEAN is clearly one of the brightest stars on the global stage. Um, in terms of its demographic profile, it's young and many other parts of the world are aging rapidly. In terms of its economic performance, it's strong at about 5%, um, which is much higher than almost all other parts of the world. So I think ASEAN can be proud of, of what it's achieved and the way that it looks today. I think having um, a region of such huge diversity as ASEAN has does offer very interesting opportunities in the sense of exploring complementarities. So you have countries at every level of different skills, uh, of costs, of resources, um, of cultures, and combining that creates very interesting opportunities for, for companies, for example, to structure their operations, taking advantage of all the different things that each country has to offer. And to take advantage of that will be one of the engines that ends up addressing and reducing that uh, inequality.